Words play an essential role in efficiently constructing concepts. They're like a cheat sheet. They allow us to communicate and share our concepts with each other with little effort. If I say the word flower and you know some English, your brain will spontaneously and automatically start using your past experience with flowers to predict what to do with this plant. When we were young, the people in our lives might have first taught us that this is a flower. We learn rules for when it's appropriate and inappropriate to see a plant as a flower. You put a flower in a vase. You share a flower with someone you like to make them smile. You give a flower to someone who's sad at the loss of a loved one. A flower is a magical part of nature. A weed is a menace. It invades your garden. It ruins your lawn. Weeds are not to be cultivated. They are to be yanked out from the ground by their roots. One person's weed is another person's salad. The same plant can be a flower, a weed, or a salad, all depending on the predictions that your brain creates in different situations. It's a continuum of plant, uninterrupted, without borders. When your brain sees a dandelion, it asks itself, what is this most similar to in my past experience in this sort of a situation? As your brain is automatically making a slew of predictions about what this might be like, it's creating a concept. <laughs>